Howdy y'all and welcome back to Yellow Texas. We're about to go back in time to experience the old west of the Lone Star State and it truly is as Texas as it gets. So bring your cowboy hat, jump into your boots and get ready to swing into the saddle as we take a ride to the Fort Worth Stockyards. All right, so if you're making a trip to Fort Worth, you might as well make a stop at the number one attraction in the city. We're talking about the world famous Fort Worth Stockyards where cowboys meet contemporary right here in Cowtown. Step into the wild, wild west. Hello from Fort Worth. Woo. Just a short drive away from downtown, the Fort Worth Stockyards are located smack in the middle of Chisholm Trail. So to give us the lay of the land, we met with Dina Newell, the Marketing and Tourism Director of the Fort Worth Stockyards. Why is it so important to come here and visit the stockyards? Well, it is definitely a sense of everybody wants to be a cowboy or a cowgirl. Yeah. And when they come to the stockyard, you get that sense of being in that Western culture and lifestyle. Yeah. Obviously, what the biggest attraction is, is coming to the twice daily cattle drive. Yes. So we have our family of, of Longhorn that they, twice a day, they do a cattle drive up yeah. and down the street of Exchange Avenue. Cool. And the Coliseum has a rodeo every Friday and Saturday night. It's the longest run, running indoor rodeo. Oh, and fun. Yes, you can visit the Fort Worth herd and you can actually go behind the scenes. Oh, cool. And we have so many great museums. We have the Stockyards Museum. We have the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame yeah. that you can tour. We're gonna be adding more retail, more restaurants, more nightlife. And, and more experiences, more things that you can do. Exactly. And also there's some um, historical tours that you can take as well? Absolutely, yes. So you can do a historic walking tour. And speaking of, I introduce you to our ambassador, Ed Brown. He awesome. is the mayor of <laughs> Fort Worth and Stockyards. Do you mind telling us a little bit about the history of the Stockyards and how it all came to be? Oh, absolutely. I just. Uh, love telling that story to folks that come down here. Yes. You know, they, they come down here and they want to see the Old West. And I explained to them, there is no city more Western than Fort Worth. One of the reasons for that is we're on the Chisholm Trail today. Uh -huh. From 1866 to 1890, four and a half million head of cattle were led up that trail right through the streets of town, down Fort Worth, wow. and then eventually in this valley. As people would look from the old fort location, they saw nothing but a sea of cattle. Yeah. And then we became known as Cow Town. Cow Town. So we got that legacy to live on. We're still Cow Town. We're still where the West begins. Awesome. Thank Our you so much. Let's okay, see let's, the rest of this place. <laughs> we'll do that. Hey, see, this building right here, when it was made, they wanted this to be the cleanest, most modern, efficient stockyards in the world. Instead of wood and tin, this was built out of concrete. When they built this barn, it's designed to pick up air in any direction okay. and create a tunnel effect that would suck the hot air out. They also decided that they would lay down 10 million bricks. Wow, that's now, a lot. <laughs> why so many? Because they wanted to wash it down every night. It'd be the wow. first stockyard to completely wash down, which meant clean animals, which means healthy animals. Oh, love that, love that. And mm -hmm. we're standing right here on we this are little right piece of history. Here. You oh, bet, and there's so many buildings, and I'd love to show you some more. Let's do it. Okay. All right. We are not done yet. Watch the stockyards come to life when Yellow Texas returns. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas, where we are visiting the nationally recognized Fort Worth Stockyards. And after an informative walking tour, we are going behind the scenes of the cattle drive by meeting the herd and herd trail boss, Kristen Jaworski. Why did you start up the cattle drive and what was the purpose and the meaning behind it? Such a great question. You know, it is so meaningful because we're commemorating a time in history when Texas Longhorn cattle and the American cowboy came through Fort Worth right along the Chisholm Trail. Cool. And it just had such an impact on our history and our Western heritage. And yeah. we want to preserve that. And so not only can you see those Longhorns pass right before your eyes, but pet those horses yeah. that are standing behind me <laughs> and interact with the drovers, which are the cowboys and the cowgirls, that's really important for us to interact in, uh, with all of our visitors. So we're going to go ahead and talk to some of these? Wonderful. Oh, I'd like to introduce you. Each drover represents the cowboy way of life. 
Drovers drove millions of these Texas Longhorn cattle up to markets in places like Kansas. Uh -huh. And we sold those cattle there and that money would be brought back. We also do education programs and we take the, the steers on our outings, but if you would, special events. Right. Basically, we've been from as far away from as San Antonio all the way to New York City with them. And so one of the tools we they used back in the cattle drive days was what they call bull whip. Oh. And, um, they never hit the cattle with this. It was actually a tool to make really loud noises. Woo! Wow! So some key parts that we've got is obviously your very distinctive cowboy hat. And if it rains, that rain just pours right off the front of you and you don't get all soaking and wet. Something else that I've got on is these shaps. Uh -huh. These are called shotgun shaps. Right and they, what they would do is protect you from that harsh Texas brush. Each one of our horses have a, are named after a figure from back in the time period that we represent. Right. Yeah, I'm riding on Bose. Bose is named after Bose Eicher, uh, who was a black cowboy who rode on the, uh, in the cattle drives uh, in the 1800s. Fort Worth is also the only city that has its own registered cattle brand. It's called the Running FW. You can see the F is backwards. The F is looking back at the past and the history of all the cattle drives. And look at the W. The W is made to look like it's running forward. What, to what we hope is a very prosperous future for the city of Fort Worth. And before you know it, it was time for the main event, the world's only and popular cattle drive. It's starting. One of their names is Bebo. I feel a lot more Texan being here in the presence of Longhorns. It truly feels like a step back into the Old West. From the history and heritage saturated in this historic district, it's all a small taste of pure Texas. Plan your trip to see this National Historic District by visiting the link below.